and welcome back guys welcome back to yet another video yes i know yet another video here on the channel unplug tv sunny hot australia today's video is about an update which came out about one and a half two weeks ago yes i know i'm, I'm not up to date but there was a reason for me to not making this video earlier because I wanted to test these new functions before I actually make a video to just to gain some experience, you know. And let's have a quick look what's in the release notes of this update 2020-44-10-1. And this is exactly the feature I want to talk about in this video here the autopilot set speed. There is now a new option where you can uh, change your set speed from the maximum speed limit to the speed well you're currently driving. And we also have Spotify improvements. Yeah, there are some improvements to uh, playlists and synchronization to other devices. I'm not 100% sure what this is about. I'm not a big uh, Spotify user. There are also media search improvements, which makes it obviously now easier to find stuff you actually want to listen to and displays this in a nice form. And we also have media resources, so you can actually uh, tell the car which kind of media you are using. So if you don't use karaoke or tune in, you can make these symbols disappear. Go to settings, you go into your settings and sources. And here you can select actually if you don't hear listen spotify you don't do karaoke and you can see it changes the bar down here directly when you enable or disable certain certain functions i use all of them well i don't use karaoke but i usually show people what karaoke is and we have also a very nice feature here the voice command language can now be set differently to the language of the display here which is um well this is very convenient for people who speak two languages you know just just in case you want to talk um, German to the car, but the display will stay in English. For other drivers of your household, you can now do that. Uh, controls, display, there you go, language. Touchscreen is English and the voice recognition could be Deutsch. I would have no idea what the German commands are to actually change some configuration or settings here on the car via voice recognition. So better leave this in English as well. And the other thing is um, actually Spotify. I was never, well, that's not quite true. I need to tell you this little story. When I got the car new last year in September 2019, I tried to log in with my free Spotify account and it wouldn't log me in. It, it told me something on the screen like, you need to have a premium or a paid um, subscription with Spotify to actually log in in the car. Apparently this is no longer the case. So you can actually log in with your free account now into Spotify and listen to it even you are not paying for Spotify. So far I have not heard any advertising going through here. I'm not sure if this is a glitch or if this is on purpose now. And I don't even know if this change came with the last update or it came with one of the many, many, many updates since I got the car. I have tried only once when I got the car and it didn't work, but now it's working. So that's great. We can listen to a Spotify. I mean, um, how many streaming services do you actually need inside your car, you know? I mean, it's getting a little bit excessive, I think. This so far for the update. And before I show you the main feature, I wanna show you while we are on the road as well. I just want to say a big thank you to Tesla and Elon Musk again for giving me all these updates for free. I didn't pay for any full self-driving, no other upgrades. I don't even have, I don't even have, have a look at this. I, I don't, I don't have full self-driving. I just got autopilot and I don't even have the premium connectivity. So I'm reliant on Wi-Fi connections through my phone or here in the carport. I have not paid anything extra. This is a white car. I haven't even paid for the color. And still I'm getting again all these features of this last update. So big thumbs up Tesla. Of course I didn't pay for full self-driving. I mean, it doesn't exist, right? It doesn't exist. It's non-existent. It's not there. Nobody has got it. Not even Elon. All right, when you go to your configuration of your car, you go into your autopilot settings and you will see two options now in here for the set speed. You can click on this little eye here always 
and this gives you a quick indication what the difference is between all your selections. But um, before we had only the speed limit. So that was like when you, as soon as you engage the autopilot or the um, adaptive cruise control, the car would automatically speed up to the maximum speed it had recognized down here, this little blue symbol which is usually the maximum speed it knows of this area. This was the standard feature and until this update. And now we can set this one to current speed. And what this changes is, if you engage autopilot or adaptive cruise control now, the car will actually then stay at this speed which you currently have. Does it make sense? I'll show you. Okay, so we are now driving along here in speed limit mode. This is the function uh, where the car, this this is pretty much as it was before. There, there was only one option available, which was the speed limit. Well, there wasn't even an option. That, this was just the default setting of the car. So this is an 80 kilometer zone and I'm driving 70. If I engage autopilot now, it will automatically adapt the 80 and speeds up to 80 kilometers per hour. Yeah, that was the default setting of the car. So it automatically adapts to the maximum speed it knows of this area, either the map data or what it has recognized, and then speeds up to this maximum speed automatically. So this was the standard default setting before the update for any car. There was, there was no other option. Okay, let's do the current speed setting now. And we do the same again. Um, as always, we do all these tests in a in a safe and secured environment. There's nobody behind me for a long way. I'm, I'm not I'm not holding anyone up. I'm not disturbing anyone. So I'm doing the justice testing. Okay, same situation. 80 kilometers per hour. We are driving 65. I'm engaging autopilot, and the car will stay in with 65 now 64. It does not speed up to 80 kilometers as before anymore. It will stay on this speed what you currently have. You can of course now tap on the sign here and then um, take over this 80 kilometers and the car will speed up. Okay, we just passed the 100 kilometer zone. So again, 100 kilometer zone, we are driving 72. I engage autopilot and it will adapt the current speed into the maximum speed and drives at this speed. A lot of speed in there and then you can press on the 100 kilometer sign it adapts it and the car accelerates automatically to 100 now so you can already see the difference now to the speed limit setting which automatically speeds up to the maximum speed the car knows or the current speed setting which keeps the car at the current speed well that's why they called it like this it makes it really obvious right so why would you why would you want the current speed limit for example? Because usually people want to drive as fast as possible, especially with a Tesla, and they don't want to go slower than the maximum speed limit. Well, there are certain situations like if you think 100 kilometers is too fast for this road, but the car wants to speed up to 100. So you think for this road 85 is enough. You just double tap and the car drives 83, 85, whatever you set it, whatever you had, it drives it automatically. While on the other setting, if you think 82 or 83 is enough, you double tap and then you have to dial down. You have to dial down with your right button here to the set speeds and it's very hard to achieve 83 again because it jumps to 100 automatically and then you have to dial it down to 83 or 85 whatever you want to drive in these conditions and then these on these roads so there are certain cases where you want the current speed you know and here again on the current speed setting now 82 double tap and the car drives 82 exactly what you want in these conditions if you want to go faster just tap the 100 sign and the car speeds up again there is a downside for the current speed setting though Okay, the downside of this current speed setting is, so we are driving 100 here and we are going to turn the next turn off, so obviously you have to, have to slow down and 
we are turning here and then we are going on to another 100 kilometer zone so then you tap the autopilot engage the autopilot again and the car well it adapts the speed you are in right it doesn't drive 100 so you have to click on the button here to get to 100 again because you want to drive 100 not 45 but this is exactly what happens when you come around the curve and start accelerating again you just double tap the stock engage autopilot and then it does then it does everything for you automatically and speeds up to 100 again well not in the current speed setting it drives the speed you currently have when you engage the autopilot okay let's do the other setting at the same situation okay and this is the standard setting speed limit again we are driving 100 here in autopilot and there's the next um, turn in, ahead of us so we take off autopilot set the indicator of course and regen until the intersection go there's no car coming and now you accelerate a little bit you see there's 100 you just double tap take your foot off the accelerator and the car automatically accelerates to 100 and that's exactly what you want on these conditions here you don't want to stop at 45 of, or 50 or something depending on what speed you had so in this case the current speed setting needs an additional push of this um, road sign here to actually go to 100 or you have to dial up the speed with, with your right um, wheel and these are all additional steps to before you know you just double tap engage the autopilot and it does the 100 no problem and this is exactly why I have tested both versions now well as exactly the the current speed version for the last one and a half weeks or so I drove most of the time in this current speed setting and well it is a bit you need to get used to it otherwise you're getting exactly in these situations you come around the corner engage autopilot and then the car slows down because you're driving 45 only but you want to drive 80 or 100 so you need to either stay on the accelerator until you hit your desired speed and then engage your autopilot or you need to press the button and take over the maximum speed if you want to drive that in any way it's additional work to the speed limit setting I'm still not sure what I like more they have both advantages and disadvantages because as you know especially here on these country roads sometimes they're really bumpy or curvy or something and the car drives far too fast so I really like the um, the current speed setting so I can just engage autopilot with the speed I think it's appropriate for this area and the car stays there otherwise it would accelerate to 100 and I need to dial it down again so there's there's also additional steps additional work necessary but the same on the other side as I just showed you so I'm not sure what is better or what is best I think it depends on your driving style and what you want to do and also here is a 60 kilometer zone now but we are driving 63 62 and we are in current speed mode so if I engage current speed mode autopilot now it will automatically slow down to the maximum speed of 60 kilometers and you cannot adjust the speed settings in here in current speed current speed setting so this is only available the offset is only available in speed limit mode but not in current speed mode so keep this in mind as well Right, guys and as we are driving here through the Australian bush countryside again to a customer appointment um, well thank you so much for watching let me know in the comments below what you think about these two options now does it make sense to have this current speed setting option would you use it and if so when have you used it what's your experience with it uh, please leave all your comments and information down below and share this with the community I'm keen to read your comments about this and again thank you Tesla for giving me all these updates for free well I paid sixty six thousand dollars for the car so well just now nah. 
all these free updates. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And you, thank you for watching. And especially, thank you very much, Luke, for using my referral code and give me another 1,500 free supercharger kilometers. Well, not yet, but he has ordered a car using my code. It hasn't been delivered yet. But as soon as it gets delivered, I'll get 1,500 additional supercharger kilometers. Thank you, Luke, for doing this, and thank you for everyone else who has done it in the past. Seven people have done it now so far in one year. That's good. I've sold seven Teslas. People just use my code seven times, so that's all. All right, guys, see you in the next video. Stay charged now. All right, guys, this is Andy from Unplugged TV Australia signing off. You stay charged, and we will see us again in the next video very soon. This happens when you don't do videos on a regular base. Now I know exactly how dirty Tesla feels.